Did you sail through a storm? You never mentioned. Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows straight. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. You know, I would much prefer a more straightforward approach. But for you, I'll try something new. How kind. Huh. I'll keep your voice down. Guards here are vigilant. Good Lord, his court to light. Better keep my eyes open. Wickman's priest is in the church. Ah. Look at this structure. The trees that must have hewn. The devices that must have... Solid. Are you in the midst of a conversion, Leaf? Shall I steal a small cross for you as well? No. Never. Can the craftsmen drool over other crafts? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
I need your eyes, my friend. Well struck. We made short work of Whitman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Get nothing out of me. Nothing. Insect. Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now, and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear! Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Whitman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Eivor, 
What did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead. ...and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me. As a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Garland puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape. And Garland sees an important meaning. Garland told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. I need more time to- Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. Well, you're not the regular sunbeam I've come to know. Something weighing on you. I was wondering on a few things. It must ache to serve under someone you love so deeply, one who doesn't love you back. Some days the pain hits hard. I need to press my hand into my heart to keep it from digging through my chest. You were a smuggler. Some would say that's not a trustworthy past. And water is wet. What a surprise. I'm an opportunist. I see a chance, I take it. It's helped Soma so far. She knows what I am, what I was. But she trusts me. Who would better know the difference between a joke and the truth? What happened the night of the attack? The people were at peace. A beautiful night, fog and all. Then came the Saxons all around. And Soma roaring like a great bear. When she called a retreat, we ran for the longboats aiming to regroup in the swamps. It was an ambush, no more, no less. Someone in the city led the Saxons through the Longhouse Tunnel. When the fighting started, where were you? Drinking with my warriors in the Longhouse. When the Saxons came, I fought. I couldn't have shown anyone the tunnel. Eyes were on me all day and night.
You're back again, Sunbeam. I was wondering... I need to get going. These bags of Bienas, packed for a long journey. You're back again, Sunbeam. I was... I found your things packed for a long journey. Were you planning to travel? If I had betrayed the city, I'd be gone now, wouldn't I? No, I stayed. I'm happier near Soma with a broken heart, than far away with a heart still longing. I need to... Eivor, you look like the wind has flecked your sails. What's going on? I was wondering. You told me you often disagree with Soma's orders. I do, but I follow them. It's my duty to this clan, to my Yao's Kona. A man's honor comes from his acts, not his wishes. You said your yellow paint was stolen before the attack. Aye, and yellow is not an easy pigment to mix, let alone acquire. I was furious it was stolen. I found your yellow paint barrel near the river. Did you? It was stolen from my workshop not long ago. I found it on the riverbank. It was empty. How did you feel when Guthrum named Soma the steward of Grandbridge, and not you? If being honorable were easy, we would have no evil men. It is something I... I wanted, sure. But I'm a man of honor, above all. How did the night of the attack play out from your view? I was working in the shipyards. Next thing I knew, the city was burning from the inside. Then Soma led our retreat. Leave. Someone showed the Saxons the Longhouse Tunnel. Where were you when the attack started? What were you doing? When the fighting started, I was in my workshop, decorating a sail for our allies in Grimsby. Without my yellow paint. By the time Soma gathered me to retreat, the city was under attack from within. I was nowhere near the tunnel. Nowhere. Did anything strange happen before the attack on Grandridge? I saw two Saxons riding past the city while I was on guard. One to the Melbourne Monastery and one toward the uh, Utbeck camp. I think they were messengers. Didn't think anything of it since they weren't coming here. Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Leif. Fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in each of his longships? He's a craftsman and a wordsmith. Where are these longships now? Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. 
To return his works of art, he'd be so grateful. To be sure. Good luck to you. Eivor, this is a surprise. I was wondering. The visions you've had about you and Soma, how do you interpret them? A piercing question. I believe it means that Soma will lead me to greatness, however difficult. That she is linked to my destiny. Why were you at death's door when Soma found you? I left my clan to pursue my vision. I don't remember much. The sacred plans addled my memory. But I was hungry for more visions. You may not understand, but Soma does. She knows the gods have a plan for me, and that following it is worth any risk. Did you see anything odd when the attack began? I did. I saw a wave of Saxons appear in the heart of Grand Bridge, as if by magic. Odd as wings on an eel. I fought ragged to the brink of death from one night to the next. You saw the end of it. Wolves almost took me. I'm trying to find who betrayed Soma to the Saxons. I could use your help. I wish I could help. The night of the attack I was meditating on the shore far from prying eyes. I was alone that night. And until Saxons appeared, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I hope that's enough. Did you see anything strange on the night of the attack? Hmm. Come to think of it, I noticed one of the longships wasn't where it usually is. It was beached further north, on the riverbank. Where was this? Northeast of here, along the shore. It's been a few days, though. May not be there now. I must be careful now. Here's a poem about Vienna. This poem is about Leif. Did he write this about himself?
Hedgehog! <laughs> Getting tired! <laughs> this longship is splashed with yellow paint. A quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? This carving references Galen in verse. This long ship is ambushed by bandits. The survivors ran into the fog, pursued by half the party, while the other bandits looted it. This longship is splashed with yellow paint. A quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? You return. I was wondering. Why was your longship painted yellow? Was it yellow? I don't recall. You could ask Leaf. He's our shipmaster. I should be gone. I have an iron stomach and a foul Did you find enough clues around Grampridgeshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? Vietnam was drinking in the longhouse when the attack began. Others can attest to that. Hardly the behavior of someone expecting an attack. Vietnam was packed for a long journey the night of the attack. You think she wanted to leave us? I think she was prepared to leave, that's certain. Leave told me he was working in his shipyard the night of the attack. The shipyard is exposed and far from the tunnel entrance. Not the ideal man to lead Saxons into the city. Garlin had no alibi. No one can place his location on the night of the attack. He's an odd one, that man. But he is a man, not a toddler. He doesn't need a constant watch. I found Garlin's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? A local said they saw someone running from the outskirts of the city to the river, just before the attack. Did they recognize the person? No, they couldn't be seen through the fog. But whoever it was, they knew something bad was coming. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must.
my family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> he believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wigmund deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder, and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. I'll take on all comers! hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. There is that rat.
Dominus Altum at Supplementum Said ik quod est naturae nisis Deus manifestat arbitrarium. I will tear his throat from his neck with my teeth. Survey the area, Sunan.
He means to erase me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. We should return to camp, before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time. Oh, that will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Brit is yours. You have your home once again. Bah! Soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. 
Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. The wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. Ah, a new letter. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chill, Bird. Your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you. And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor. Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open. 
And I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! Does this stir your thirst for battle, Randri? It does! There is nothing for you here but death! That the last of them. The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Giedland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... Tank! To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. 
Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps.